take two. So I, I apologize. <laughs> I, I apologize. I have to say that. It's okay, I dude. I'm happy to be here with you. It's okay. Technology. So, rapidvideoyafrocriticologos.com. <laughs> Thank you once again, Josh, for taking a little your time to talk about the series. I absolutely, I absolutely loved it. I, I, I have no, no bad, bad things to say. And congratulations. Thank you. I mean, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about uh, Clive and then the 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 source material. I wonder. I'm going to ask you this time around. How how much of Clive did translate it to the you translated from the source material to the series itself? Yeah, absolutely. You know, luckily because the author was so detailed with her writing and is so wonderful about writing. You know, her characters out and their thoughts. I was able to kind of take that and personalize it and um, just put it kind of use it as my. Uh, you know, guideposts into getting into the character for the show. So you know, I was, I got really lucky with that. Let's talk about uh, his mindset with uh, Emily right now. We're mid-season. We see him getting a little bit more comfortable uh, talking to her, being around her. What's going on through his mind? Where, where is he right now? You know, I think that he's been such a lone wolf for so long that uh, I think every human being, even no matter what they say, probably craves some sort of companionship. And I think right now in the middle of the season, we're seeing him open up a little bit more into um, allowing that that to happen in his life. And uh, I, I dare say he might even start to be enjoying her presence at this point in the season, which, you know, we'll see how that goes. But I think I think he's at a place where he's just he's grateful to have a friend or acquaintance. Is he absolutely trusting her right now in, in that position? She is she is with her. I don't think he absolutely trusts anyone anymore at this point, but I do think, I think in his mind, he might feel that way because he doesn't let anyone in. He doesn't sit with anyone, but he sits with her, you know? So I think that that's, for him, it's relative. I want to talk about working with Jaden because the chemistry with the two of you guys was so, was so great. Did that, did that happen organically from the beginning or what, how did that come about? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Jaden is such a wonderful, um, really just committed actor and so with him as soon as we got as soon as we were both you know on set the conversation started and really we just kind of started bonding to sort of uh get that get that relationship clear and get it specific and kind of get the banter and how we wanted to do this together and he's very down to go down to do whatever so it opened the door for us to play a lot and kind of develop what we what that relationship would be in a, in a cool way Finally, I, I have to talk about the different layers of social commentary that it, it get, are around the series. I want to I want to ask you which one, you know, struck to you the most. Which one is you know struck to you uh, as a as a person uh, with with the series? Absolutely. You know, I think the one that probably stood out to me the most was just the 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 issues of class. You know, as we have you know these Americans on a resort in the Caribbean, an unnamed island. But you know, what is that? What was what are you know the, the the rules of that? What is what does that look like? What does that mean um, for these people? What does it mean for this community when a tragedy happens? And how does that change everything? And um, these these resort workers who you know they show all they they're just trying to show up and work every day. How does that affect them? And how do the differences in class uh, affect affect the the how does this tragedy affect the differences of class and the people that are involved? You know. All of them, I, to me, are really important. But yeah, that, that one should, that one also stood out to me. Josh, uh, once again, thank you for taking a little time to talk about the series and congratulations. I absolutely love what, I, what you guys are doing, what you guys did, and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's good to talk to you again. Thank you.